Well, hello everybody and happy Thursday. I am sorry I'm a couple minutes late today. It is Thursday, March 10th and 7.04, so I'm four minutes late. And um, this is Lisa Freeman from stampingwithlisa.com coming to you live on YouTube. And I wanted to show you this cute easel card that my um, upline and my friend Faith made at one of our get togethers and she said that I could show it on YouTube. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make it today. It not it beautiful. I don't know if you can see all the sparkle on there, but it is super, super cute. And it opens like that. And then it sets down like this to make your easel. Wait a minute, mine's gotta, you gotta press it down and then it'll stay, stay better. But it's so cute. And then if you wanna mail it, you just go like that and it'll fit in an envelope, so. Super cute, love it, love it, love it. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make it tonight. It is not hard at all. And <clears throat> hopefully we'll have a bunch of people join in today. And sorry again for being late. I had to work today and I was rushing home and it's just pouring down rain, gross outside. So I'm just a few minutes late, but hopefully you guys are waiting for me and we'll be getting started in just a second. Oh good, we already got a bunch of people on here. Hey Jocelyn, hey Tanya, or Tanya, I don't know, I'm not sure how to say that. Hey Kai Omega, Mindy, Minda, sorry. Denise, Becky, Tina, Robin, and then somebody, I don't know how to say that, from Connecticut, and Kathy. Hey everybody. And Denise, you caught me live, yay. Laura, Susan, hey everybody. All right, so if you just tuned in, this is what we're making. It's a um, easel card featuring the waves of the ocean um, bundle or collection. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I think it's a collection. Sometimes it's a suite, sometimes it's a bundle, sometimes it's a collection. So it sits like this, and then you it opens like this, this way, or this way. I guess it doesn't matter. That's it, open all the way, so you can write in here. And then when you wanna shut it, you can shut it flat so you can mail it and then it'll be like that but it's super cute and um we're gonna get started in just a second after everybody gets on here hey cheryl from florida and susan from new york i'm so excited you guys are joining me today it was a fun day at work today <laughs> i have a little short funny story to tell you <laughs> One of the very last patients I talked to was kind of uh, very strange. I thought I was being punked or something. <laughs> All right, while we're waiting for everybody to join in, let me show you um, where this comes from. So this is not in the catalog yet. It's gonna be in the new catalog. It's called Waves of the Ocean. Um, and I guess it's a collection, early release collection. So it comes with a ton of stuff. So you can get it right now. Um, the whole bundle, the stamp set, the dies, the designer series paper, the foil paper, and the rhinestones, all of this comes in the collection right now. So you can get the whole entire thing for $79.25. This is what's gonna be in the catalog, these two things, the, the stamp set and the dies. The bottom three things, the paper, the foil, and the rhinestones are not gonna be in the catalog. They are while supplies last. So once they're sold out, they're sold out and they're not coming back. So if you want any of those three, you better get them now. And I would love to have it order from me. You can always go to my website, stampingwithlisa.com. The host code is on there, but it's always on my videos too. And I will be happy to send you a free gift for um, any orders over $50. And you also get entered to win a free $50 gift certificate from me each month. I'll be giving away a $50 gift certificate. For everybody that orders, you get entered into a drawing. So that's an awesome thing. And then also we have this other special that's going on this month. And this one is Savings Are in Bloom. So you can get the mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine for 20% off. Normally it's $60, it's on sale for $48 this month. And this is this month only. And then there's also a whole bunch of bundles that are, that are kind of uh, meant to go with this little one because they have a lot of little dies in them. Although you can use any bundle I mean, any dies in there that are small. Um, so all of these are 20% off, the bundles are. And a few of my favorites are in here. Actually, a lot of my favorites are in here. The Art Gallery is one of my favorite ones. Beauty of Friendship, I love that one. Celebrate Sunflowers. 
I've seen a whole bunch of people doing cards with this one for, um, you know, to support the Ukrainian people right now. Because that, I think, is their national flower, is the sunflower. And um, I'm going to work on a card for them this weekend and show you. Love this, The Garden Wishes, Hydrangea Haven, love that one, Pansy Patch, Quiet Meadow, I use that one all the time, Seascape Bundle, Sweet as a Peach, Welcoming Window, What's Cooking, and Wildcats. So pretty much all of these, except for maybe four, are awesome, awesome ones that I use all the time. A few of them I don't, I don't have that one, and I don't have that one, but I have all the rest. So great, great sets to pick from right here, and um they're bundled price already, so they're already 10% off, and you get an additional 20% off, so really it's like 30% total. All right, so that's it for the um, housekeeping stuff. So let's get started, and if you're just tuning in, this is what we're making, this beautiful card. Here's the stamp set, and it is a um, rubber stamp set, and it comes with the dies. So it's got a bunch of dies. I took some out because I had to use them. Um, and then the set is rubber. So I think I showed you how to cut some of that up the other day on my 101 video. If you missed that, make sure you go back and check it out. How to cut a rubber stamp set up and put the stickers on and trim it and all that good stuff. And then here's what you need for this card. Whoops. I don't have any room on my desk. It's such a mess. I need to clean it. All right, so the first thing you want to start with is the piece of the main piece of the card. So it's a half a sheet of cardstock cut at four and a quarter by 11. This is Coastal Cabana, and then you score it at two and three quarters and five and a half inches. So this is the half point right here, five and a half, and then two and three quarters is half of that. So you're going to score it at those two spots, and then it's going to fold up like that and be that way. So that's the first thing. And I think I'm gonna stick it the way I had it so it stays flat. All right, so that's one piece. Then you've got Bermuda Bay, four by five and a quarter. Gray granite, three and three quarters by five. Two pieces of white. And they're both three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. Another piece of white that is three and a quarter by two and three quarters. And then a little piece of DSP right here. This is from the um, Hostess Pack. And the Hostess Pack comes with like a million sheets of paper. I think it's like 48 12 by 12 sheets. So it's like, it's like four packs of 12 by 12 paper. And um, I think it's only, I wanna say, I don't even remember how much it is. Let me look real quick. Pretty cheap though for four packs of designer paper. It's in the very, very back of the big catalog. Let me find it. Okay, here we go. All right, Pattern Party 12 by 12 designer series paper. All right, it's $30 value. You pay $18 if you're a hostess. You have to be a hostess, which means you have to order $150 or more. And you get 48 sheets, so that's four packs because normally a pack comes with 12 sheets. So you get um, four, four times that much. And they're all 12 by 12. So the front is a like a colorful color um, pattern paper and the back is black and white. So half of the, well the front half of everything is like real bright and colorful. Then if you flip it over, all the um, backs of them are black and white. So it's pretty cool. I don't, I'm not really crazy about the front patterns, but the back, I really like all the black and white ones. So, um, let's see. <laughs> I don't understand that comment. I know what are you saying? I'm eating until next month before I order the bundle. Have everything else. Oh, you're wait. I think it's supposed to be waiting and it's a typo. <laughs> hey, Robin, you were waiting for me. All right. Okay, and then you need a scrap of white paper, and this is for the um, pelican on the pilings, and also, oh, you know what? I forgot about this. So I punched out these birds. It comes with these little seagulls, and they're so tiny, but it has a little die for these, and it comes, two of them come in um, the die together. I did use shimmer white for that, so that they would contrast with the white background, so they're a little bit different color because they're shimmery white, so... 
You do need a little piece of shimmer white. All right, so take a screenshot of that if you want to, and then we'll get started. And um, yeah, I know, I figured that. <laughs> hey, Beth, you just sneaking in. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with the wave piece. Oh, I forgot something else, darn it. I forgot something else, hold on. I forgot this piece right here. So this is for your words. You need this little die that also comes in here. And I popped this out already ahead of time because you know what, I, I can't bring my big shot. I mean, not my big shot, my, um, darn it, I always call it big shot. Stamp and cut and emboss machine. Because it's too big to bring in here on my desk and I don't have enough room for it because my desk is piled with stuff. So you need that too. And that's out of vellum and out of the gray granite also. So that's the die that comes uh, with this whole set. So that I forgot to tell you. So do that ahead of time. And then I already did pop out the Pelican too. So we don't have to worry about that. All right, these three pieces you don't really need right away. Um, the rest of them, actually that one either. We're gonna just use the white pieces. Actually, we don't need the white either. We just need this little one. All right, so let's get started. And I've got my Stamparatus here. You can tell I've been at work all day. My brain is fried, so I can't think straight. All right, I've got my um, stampin', uh, Stamparatus, and I've already put the wave on here, and I've got it marked exactly where to put it, right here. And I always put just a tiny bit of tape on the back so it doesn't move. Unless I have a big piece, then I'll use the magnet, but this piece is too small to stick the magnet on there. All right, so I'm gonna ink this up. And this is Bermuda Bay. You can use Coastal Cabana too, which is what I should have done because this comes out a little bit dark, but that's all right. And you really should have something under here like the stamp set to keep it flat so that it inks up straight. And then, you're gonna take this over here and we're gonna go voila. And this is my little Chucky tool. If you don't have one of these, they just make it a lot easier. Instead of having to go like this all over and press it, this just kind of goes over the whole thing really smoothly. It's got this, um, I don't even know what you call it, felt maybe on the bottom. One of my um, customers made this for me. Her name is Deborah, And she made this for me out of like a doorknob and I don't even know what this thing is, but she found these pieces like at a fabric store or something or the hardware store and just kind of stained it and glued it together. But they do have some on Amazon and I also put the link in the description box under the video where you can get these on Amazon, except the ones on Amazon are like, they look more like hockey puck uh, things, you know, the pushing thing for the hockey puck, but they work exactly the same and they have felt on the bottom too. So you just go like that and then you should have a pretty good image right there, ta-da. And then I wanna do it one more time. So I'm just gonna ink it up one more time and I'm gonna stamp off and then I'm gonna put my words, uh, my vellum piece in here because I wanna get a little bit of this on the vellum, but I don't want it too dark. So there we go. We just have a little bit of swirliness on there kind of light, but it's really, really pretty. It just adds a little bit of gorgeousness to that piece. So then we're done with that. So I'll put those away. And we're done with the blue. All right, so now we're gonna do our Pelican. So I went ahead and um, punched one out ahead of time, but all you have to do is take your scrap paper and we've got our little Pelican here. And we're gonna use Memento Black and just ink him up. And he's so cute, I love this little pelican. Ink him up on here. And then we're gonna pop him out by the magic of TV, I already did it. And here we go, voila, just like that. Oh, and if you stamp on the vellum, it does take a minute to dry. And you know what else I gotta do is the words too. Let me do those real quick. So the words we've got are, your strength is an inspiration. I trimmed mine up really close so it cut off uh, the sticker a little bit. But this is a really, really good stamp or a card to give to um, anybody who's going through a rough time, like say with cancer or they're sick or they just lost 
a loved one or something like that. It's just a great card for any of those occasions. All right, we're gonna stamp that right on here. And then since it is vellum, it is gonna take a minute to dry. So I'm just gonna set that aside. And then um, we're gonna color this with some Stampin' Blends. And I just, oh, I know I'm not, I got them all. <gasps> I just realized I forgot my shimmer spray, darn it. Oh man, that stinks. We're not gonna get to spray it. That's my favorite thing to do. All right, so we're gonna color this and I'm gonna just trim just a little bit off of this because I don't like that so much white showing at the bottom. And then I'm gonna tell you about this crazy lady that called me at work today and thought I was getting punked. She said, <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with the gray. This is Light Smoky Slate. And let me read some comments real quick. Um, let's see, finally, finally, hey Cheryl. Finally caught me live, all right. Hey Brenda. All right, I'm so glad all of you guys could join me. Um, so we've got the Light Smoky Slate and we're gonna just color really lightly most of this piling. And it's probably easier to color before you actually punch it out, but um, I don't know, I didn't think about that. So I color almost the whole thing with the gray, and then I color some of the pelican in gray too. Kind of the top and the bottom of his body. And leave just a little bit of white in there. All right, so this lady calls work today and she says that she was in there a few days ago and she can't remember which day she came. Could I look it up for her? And I'm like, sure, no problem. And so this is uh, light Calypso Coral and that's just for his um, beak. Then I've got the, um, what is this, light crumb cake. So, you know, I asked her her name and date of birth and everything and I find her in the computer and I'm like um yes ma'am you were you were here on the fifth and she goes she said I asked you what day I was there and I said you were here on March 5th and she's like oh. and she goes I asked you what day I was there and I said um and I said, do you mean like what day of the week? And she's like, yes. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, okay. Uh, I just told you it was the fifth. And um, I said, well, I don't have a calendar sitting right in front of me, but let me see. Today is Thursday, the 10th. So last Thursday would have been the third. So Friday would have been the fourth. Saturday would be the fifth. So you were here on Saturday, the fifth. <laughs> And she goes, she goes, well, I can't believe you were going to make me try to figure that out. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, are you kidding me? Is this lady really kidding me? Anyway, so she starts telling me all about why she was there, you know, the other day and blah, blah, blah. And, and I said, ma'am, do you need to speak to the nurse? And uh, she goes, I thought you were the nurse. And I said, no. And she goes, she goes, of course I want to talk to the nurse. And she goes, now I'm going to have to do this whole thing over again. And she goes, well, can you at least tell her what day I was here? <laughs> I, said, I said, well, now you know. You can tell her you were here Saturday the 5th. <laughs> I just hung up and I was just shaking my head going, really, this lady cannot be for real. It just cracked me up. I'm thinking, mm, have some special people. <laughs> All right, so we're done coloring that. Oh, and I forgot to tell you. So I took the color lifter, I think, and I was talking, I didn't pay attention. I usually take this in the middle and just kind of blend everything together and take a little bit of color right off the middle part. So that way it's not like too dark. All right, so then we're gonna put this together and I'm just gonna put a little bit of tape right in the middle and it's not gonna show through if you put this right on top. And then we're gonna get some ribbon and wrap that all up. So I've got three different ribbons here. We've got, oh, there's my bone folder. I was looking all over for that. So we've got the white um, seam binding ribbon, the crinkle seam binding ribbon. We've got some linen thread and we've got the black and white 
uh, gingham. Oops, I almost just fling, flung that away. Oops, here's the other ones too. We can't lose our um, birds. All right, so we've got black and white gingham, linen thread, and the white uh, crinkle seam binding. And you want about four and a half inches of this all together because we're going to use all three. So I've got my little ruler here. Normally in my other um, desk, I've got the paper with the ruler. All right, so we're going to cut it about right there. So this is like four and a half inches. And then we're done with that. And then we're going to tie it through the side loop all together. So you're just going to hold them all together, put them through here, and then just tie a knot, a single knot. I had a funny joke for you guys today, but I'm afraid some people might get offended, so I can't tell you. Because <laughs> I told everybody at work and everybody thought it was hysterical. But <laughs> oh, I've been laughing about it all day. But I'm afraid somebody might get mad if I do it on here. I don't know. I don't want to offend anybody. But it's so funny. <laughs> oh, I do have one I can tell you, though, that's kind of funny. Okay, what do you call a cow with three legs? Anybody know? Hold on. I think I'm missing some comments here. Wait a minute. Can you imagine? Oh. <laughs> Everybody's talking about the lady I was just talking about. OMG. Let's see. Can you imagine her driving a car? I know it. Obviously, mind reader is one of your required job skills. I know it. I know it. <laughs> I'm sure you have to deal with some special people. Yes, I do. Very special. Most of the people, I would say 90% of the people that I talk to are really, really nice. But I'm telling you, sometimes I have people call and they are just crazy. But I thought that was hysterical. I'm thinking to myself, really? Um, anything else you want while I'm at it? You want me to just fix you a hamburger with some mac, I mean, some french fries and bring it to your house? <sighs> crazy okay you ready anybody know the answer to the joke what is a cow with three legs the answer is lean beef <laughs> my friend Jordan told me that at work. <laughs> no it's not ground beef it's lean beef leaning he's got three legs he's leaning <laughs> all right so now we've got our ribbon on here so cute and kind of spread it out and then we're gonna put stuff together. So we've got our main piece here, all these other pieces. I keep wanting to think this is trash and just fling it over. These little birds, they're gonna get flung out of the way in just a minute. All right, so we're gonna put dimensionals on a lot of stuff. So let me find them somewhere in here, in my pile of stuff. There we go. All right, so this piece right here is gonna go on with dimensionals. This piece is gonna have dimensionals. This piece is gonna have dimensionals and this one is gonna have dimensionals. So let me get them all done. And I can't think of anything else funny to tell you that happened today. I had a pretty, oh, you know, I can tell you something funny. So this morning I woke up and it was like 6.30 and I said, oh good, I woke up early because normally I don't wake up that early. I said, I'll just go ahead and get up and uh, get a bunch of stuff done before I have to go to work and because I really didn't I wasn't gonna go to work until about a 10 10 30 or 11 because I was gonna go do admin stuff and work on the schedule and then I had to work on the floor just for a few hours so I woke up at 6 30 and uh, I went to the bathroom and then I get back in bed for a few minutes and yes the cow with no legs is, is ground beef yep um, so then I had my phone and I was checking some of my emails and you know that like when you lay in bed and you're laying back like on your pillow and you have your cell phone like kind of propped up in front of you a little bit and well I was like holding it and um, about five minutes later I dropped it right on my face because I fell asleep again. <laughs> It kind of shocked me because it felt like a brick hit in my face <laughs> and I was like oh my god so 
I decided then that I really needed to go back to sleep for a little while. So I had laid my phone down and then I woke back up and it was 930. And I said, oh my God. So I got out of bed, jumped in the shower real quick, got ready, went to work. Thank goodness I'm the supervisor now and I didn't really like have to be at work at a certain time. That's the best part. Because I said, dang. And then I ended up getting all of my stuff done and worked on the floor a little bit. It wasn't too busy. And then got to come home and do the video. So luckily I had this ready yesterday, so I didn't really have to do much. All right, so I think we're done with the dimensionals. So let's put all this together. All right, so you need one sheet of white to put this part, the top part on. Oh, I forgot this part, dimensionals, wait a minute. And I always use the edges. You always want to use all your edges because they work the same as the rest of them. All right, so here we go. I'm making a mess of trash over here on my desk. Wish I could just snap my fingers and all these would pop off into the garbage can. Okay, almost done. Hold on. <laughs> I should prepare this ahead of time. All right, so this is going to go in the top piece with a little bit of a border all the way around. And that looks pretty good. Then this goes on the bottom. And then I'm going to show you a trick for getting those birds on here because they're so thin. There's a couple things you can do, but I'm going to show you the way that I did it. And then this goes at the bottom with a border all the way around too. So there you go. And then um, on top of this one, you're gonna put your pelican. Oops, I need one more dimensional too. Let's put one up here on his head. Well, we'll use this little teeny one. Put there. Okay. Then this is gonna go like right in the middle I cannot believe I forgot my spray. Now you don't get to see my shimmer spray today. All right, and then this goes on the gray piece. So we're just gonna flip that over, use some of this green glue. And this has a really, really thin border. So we're just gonna stick it on there. And you just can't hardly see the gray too much. All right, so then we're gonna put these two pieces together. And that's gonna go on the inside of our card. And this one has a bigger border. But the key is if you're doing this card in a class, if you're a demonstrator and you do it in class, you never wanna give your customers two different sizes of white paper to use on the same card because what will happen is they'll stamp on the wrong one. And then they'll say, oh, I messed up. Even if you tell them 500 times, use the bigger one or whatever. So I always make sure that the two white pieces are exactly the same size so it doesn't matter. So, cause I could have had this one like a little bit bigger, but I said, no, mm -mm. All right, so then we're gonna put some glue right here and we're gonna use the green glue, but you gotta make sure, cause you want this to go on here like this. This is a little bit crooked. I just realized I must have scored it a little crooked. Let me fix it. Well, whoops, it's hard to fix now. Let me see. Let me get my bone folder that I just had here. Okay, that's better. All right, so we're gonna put the glue on here and just make sure you don't go anywhere near the edge. So None of that will show. And that's gonna go on here just like this. And make sure you get it straight. And then hold that for a minute. And I will read some comments. Let me see. For some reason they don't scroll like all the way down. Miriam, I don't know what you said on there. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> It says V-O-R dot R-E-D. I'm not sure what that means. Let's see. Oops. Looks like my 
screen is frozen almost. Okay, then this part right here goes down at the bottom of the bottom piece. And we're gonna put it, this is what this is gonna sit on. See, if you don't have that, it just kind of sits like that. But once you put this part on, then it will set up against that part. So I'd say it's probably like a half an inch above the bottom of the card. Yep, exactly about a half an inch. From here to here is half an inch. And then, then your card will rest on that. Ta-da. All right, now we're gonna do the birds. So here's my trick for the birds. You could get your, um, if you have one of those silicone mats, you can use that and use either some adhesive or something else to put on the back. But what I use is glue dots. And I just get a glue dot and I take my, take your pick tool and use the pointy end and just kind of curl it up. So just start curling it from one edge and kind of roll it until you get it skinny. And then you're going to stick it to the back of one side of the bird. And that'll hold it down. You could put two of these on. You could put one on each side, but really one will do it for you. So we'll put that one like right there. And if you want another one, you can do another one. All right, and then we're gonna get another one all rolled up. So just again, take your pointy tool, I'm gonna take your pick and just roll that right up and then put it on the back of another one. Oops, they're so tiny. It's like, you just can't even hold them hardly. All right, and then stick that on the back of that. And if it does show, just kind of take your thing and fold it over. All right, so that one's gonna go over here and then we want one more on our little thing down here. And again, we're just curling that thing up right in a tight little skinny piece. And put that on the back of that other one. All right. So there we go. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you so much. We're gonna put that one on the words. So I can't take credit for this card because my upline faith made the original one, which is exactly the same as this one. And now I would take my shimmer spray and I would go all over it and it would be so sparkling and beautiful. And then it would look like this one. So here's the one with the sparkle on it. I know you probably can't see it. This one might have even more sparkle. That's so pretty. I know you probably can't see it, but that's all the sparkle on there. So what do you think of the cards? I think they're so cute. And this is um, really easy to do an easel card like that. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm gonna try to do something really, really cool for Saturday that maybe will be um, also like for the Ukraine. So we'll try and do it in like the blue and the yellow. Um, Denise says, I drop my phone all the time then I feel so dumb but I keep trying to read my texts and emails. <laughs> You'll end up with a knot on your forehead of black eye one of these days. I know. I really thought I was going to have a, a mark on my face because that phone hit my head so hard. Thanks, you guys. I'm so glad you caught me live. Hey, Sherry. Just happened to turn on YouTube, and there I was. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thanks, Beth. Um, okay, well, thank you guys so much. Don't forget, if you want to order anything... Oh, you love the... Sh oh, that was... <laughs> what was that shimmer sound effect again? It was... Sh <laughs> there you go, Audrey. <laughs> um, I'm so glad I could crack you guys up today. <laughs> Hopefully, I made you laugh and smile. And um, if you want to order anything, don't forget... This is my website. You can go there anytime and order. I would love to have you as a customer. Um, I can always use extra customers, but if you have a de uh, demonstrator already, I don't want to steal you from somebody else. So, oh, uh, one other thing. Um, the Beyond the Horizon Paper Pumpkin Kit. Today's the last day to get that. And that's one that looks just like that gorgeous paper we have in the catalog right now in the Spring Mini. The um, On the Horizon Paper. So the new paper pumpkin coming out next month. Today's the last day to sign up for that. And it's going to be a good one. Um, I kind of stopped my subscription for a few months. But this one is going to be a good one. So I ordered a couple of them. So you might want to check that out. Just go to paperpumpkin.com if you want to sign up. 
just put my name in there, Lisa Freeman, and uh, you can sign up that way. Or you can buy like a three month, six month, or nine month subscription. All right, you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I'll be back Saturday. And it will be Saturday night, day night with Lisa at seven o'clock Eastern time. So be ready for that. And I will see you then. Bye-bye.